Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Emily, and I make videos about college, my daily life, um, fashion, hauls, get ready with me, all that kind of stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, then hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today, I'm going to be doing the 50 facts about me, and I'm excited to do this because it's a good way to start off my channel, and anybody who comes and clicks this video will be able to see um, more about me and know what to expect on my channel and just yeah it's a good introduction so let's get into the 50 facts about me so fact number one is that my full name is emily grace jacobs i'm 21 years old and my birthday is november 16th so i'm already halfway to 22 which is honestly scary and crazy <laughs> So I was born in San Diego, California, and then I moved to Colorado Springs, Colorado, when I was about three. And then from there, I actually lived in England for three years for my dad's job, and that was super fun. I loved living there. And then after three years, we moved back to Colorado Springs, where I finished out elementary, middle, and high school. And then after high school, I came to Boulder for school, and now that is where I live, in Boulder, Colorado, which, by the way, is literally the best town in the world. I love it here. So I have one pet and she doesn't live with me now because she lives with my parents at home, but her name is Amber and she's a dog and she's about this big. I'll insert a picture of her right here. And she's so cute. We don't know what kind of um, breed she is because we got her from the pound. So we don't know what she is, but she's so cute and I love her. So I currently attend school in Boulder. As I said earlier, I live in Boulder now and I go to the University of Colorado Boulder. My major in school is film production. So I have tons of really good friends in college. I have my roommates and I have just a lot of friends in my apartment and friends in my sorority. But I have one friend that I've known for 10 years and I thought this would be a fun fact because I've known her and been her best friend for 10, maybe even 11 years and her name's Rachel. We actually have a channel together which I think I'm gonna go into detail a little later. But yeah, we have a channel together and yeah, she's been my best friend for 10 or 11 years. We met in fifth grade in Colorado Springs and she's currently my roommate, so. And she was my roommate in the dorms, so we are as close as you can pretty much get. So that's my best friend. The next fact about me is that I am in a relationship. My boyfriend's name is Blake and we've only been dating for about uh, four months I think yeah it'll be four months soon so we've only been dating for four months so we're fairly new but he's great and yeah I love being around him and he's so funny and so fun and we're definitely gonna do some videos together so look forward to that so another fact about me is that I love to sing I was in three choirs in high school so I was in an a cappella group a show choir and just a normal um, concert choir or like a chorale so as far as siblings go, I only have one, and it's an older brother. His name's Connor, and he's 25, and he's super into music like I am, so we have that in common. But we also don't have, like, a lot of things in common, so whenever we're together at my house, we always, like, talk about music and funny YouTube videos, and that's kind of what we bond over, so that's always super fun. My favorite animal is a wolf. I just think that they're like so majestic and so strong and beautiful and I think that's why I love huskies because it's like the closest dog that reminds me of a wolf. I also love all monkeys, apes, orangutans. I'm pretty sure I'm getting those categories right because I know that they're like different but yeah so like gorillas and apes and orangutans and all the different species of monkeys. I just think they're so cute and I love how human like they are. Another fun fact is that I've never really played a sport and I say never really because I did do gymnastics and cheerleading but it was only for a super short amount of time and I was never good so honestly don't even know if I could barely count it but I did do cheerleading I was just on the JV squad and I was a flyer so my biggest pet peeve is when people are late my biggest phobia is probably spiders and I know that's so like what's the word basic maybe I don't know I feel like a lot of people are scared of spiders but I hate spiders so much that I won't even kill them because I'm scared to get close to them another kind of phobia or I guess you could call like a fear is flying and I never ever used to have a fear of flying like I mentioned earlier I moved a lot I moved from San Diego to Colorado Colorado to um, England, England back to Colorado, and when we lived in England, we traveled a lot while we were there. So I've been on planes my whole life. I've been on a ton of planes. I've traveled, um, so it's not like I was never on a plane and then I went recently. Like, I've always been on planes, but I think as I grew older and more aware of just like all the bad things that could happen, I got anxiety. Sorry, my battery died, so if the angle is like a little different, then I'm sorry, but I just had to take my camera off 
and charge the battery but i'm back and the next fact about me is that my motto of life is that everything happens for a reason i am not a morning person a lot of people will ask me what my race or ethnicity is just because um i look white but i also look like i have a little bit of stuff mixed in me so i'm 100 percent white but i have some hispanic in me my mom is mexican mostly i think mexican and spanish and then my dad is just like a mix of like british european stuff so yeah i am part hispanic I love salty and savory food, but I don't really have much of a sweet tooth. So obviously every once in a while I love to have some cake or some candy, but in general I would rather, if I had to choose, I would only eat salty food for the rest of my life. Not just salty, but like savory, like real food that you have for meals. I would eat that for the rest of my life if, if I had to choose between that and sweet. My favorite YouTubers are, I have a lot, but my really, my main ones that I watch all the time is OK Baby, KK and Baby J, uh, Patricia Bright, and Kendall Ray. My favorite season is summer. I love it when it's warm out and I would rather be way too hot than way too cold. The two things that I'm currently watching on Netflix is Jane the Virgin. I'm on season three, so I'm so excited to get through it, but I'm sad that eventually I won't have any left. And then I'm also watching this really funny show called 100 Times Hotter. It's British and it's basically like a British version of what not to wear. I'm 5'4", but technically I'm 5'3 and 3 fourths. Every time I go to the doctor, they always say 5'3 and 3 fourths. They just won't give me the 5'4", but I just say I'm 5'4". I actually have an acting agent in Denver. My agency is Maximum Talent Agency. I have bunions on my feet, and I know bunions just sounds so gross, but it's basically just where the joint on your big toe like sticks out, and so it creates a bump. But mine are really bad, and they bother me so much. I can't wear a lot of shoes. Um, a lot of shoes like rub my feet really wrong, and I just have like weird feet in general. I actually might do a whole video on it because I'm going to the foot doctor soon. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm going to a person who specializes specializes in feet and there's a chance that I might have surgery but probably hopefully not but yeah so I might make a video in case anybody else has onions because actually a lot of people do my favorite number is four I have so many favorite movies especially because I'm a film major I'm required to watch so many movies for school and I have so many favorites but I would say right now my all-time favorite movie would be The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I think it's just such an inspirational, entertaining movie, and I literally cry every time, and I've seen it like over five times. And I also really like the Jurassic Park movies. So one of my favorite foods is steak. I love steak. I also really like crab. Snow crab dipped in butter is so good. And then I also really like pasta, pizza. Honestly, I like all foods. I'm not a picky eater. My shoe size is a seven and a half or an eight, depending on the shoe. Another fact about me is that I don't like school and I do like to learn. I am constantly teaching myself things. I love to learn about things on my own. Like I'm the type of person where if I think of something randomly that I don't know the answer to, I will look it up on my phone or on my computer immediately and I have to know the answer and I'll be really interested in reading about it on like Google and just like finding different sites and it could be anything. So I love to learn, but I don't like school. I'm just not very good. I don't thrive in an academic setting. Um, I find it really hard to get things done in um, a timeline unless they're things that I'm doing that I'm like really excited about. So as I mentioned earlier, I used to live in England and I actually had a British accent. I don't have tonsils. I got them out, I think in 2012, whenever that was, I think it was like my freshman year of high school and or maybe sophomore year. And the reason I got them out is because I was getting tonsillitis, which is basically just where your tonsils are really inflamed and big. So you can't really swallow and it's hard to breathe. I am not a picky eater at all. You would be pressed to find something that I won't eat. Another fact about me is that I've never had braces. I've never broken a bone. I'm not allergic to anything and I don't have any um, intolerance. I love to wear gold jewelry and rose gold jewelry, but I don't really like silver jewelry. I have nightmares all the time. I have my belly button pierced and then I have two piercings on this side. I don't have earrings in, so I'm sorry you can't see, but I have two piercings on my earlobe on this side and on this side I have three piercings on my earlobe and a cartilage. 
I've never met a YouTuber in real life and I really want to. I really want to go to meetups or VidCon and hopefully I will maybe soon, but it's just never really been in my budget or in my schedule. And yeah, but I, I have so many YouTubers that I would love to meet so much. So hopefully I can do that soon. Another fact about me is that I don't have any tattoos and I don't want any. Um, I love other people's tattoos, like I love tattoos and I love looking at other people's and hearing the stories behind them and just, um, yeah, I just think tattoos are beautiful and awesome. I just don't think, I can't think of anything that I would want to put on my body, but I'm open to getting a tattoo at some point in my life if something strikes me as important enough to get it. But yeah, I just don't have any and right now I don't have any plans to get one. So I think I mentioned this briefly earlier, but I have another YouTube channel with my best friend Rachel. The channel is called Rach and M. And uh, yeah, we're still gonna do that channel and post videos, but I just felt like it would be a lot more productive for me to have my own channel as well, because it's really hard for me and her to upload consistently. So that channel is just gonna be a fun channel where we can upload whenever we feel like it or whenever we want, and it can just be something for us to look back on of our college years. And yeah, it'll just be a lot less pressure for us to feel like we have to upload and this is gonna be my new channel where I post three times a week so I'm really excited to have this channel and just be able to take it wherever I want the next fact is that I am in a sorority okay so another fact about me is that I have a pretty big birthmark on my leg so something that everybody in my life knows about me well, obviously you guys wouldn't is that I want children really bad if you had to tell me if I had to pick one thing that I could achieve achieve in life it would be to have children so I used to have acne and I only had acne for actually like a couple years, but most people get acne in high school. And even though it can be embarrassing, I feel like a lot of people are going through it at the same time, but I got acne in like fifth or sixth grade and none of the other kids were even going through puberty yet. So it was really embarrassing and I got bullied a lot for having acne and glasses and just being weird. So yeah, that, that was a fun time and I think um, I'm gonna make a video about my acne story and how it got better and yeah it really wasn't that bad but I just think I remember it and people really noticed it because I had it before anybody else did but yeah I'm gonna make a video on my acne story so maybe comment or thumbs this up if you want to see that so I blink weird and you might see it in my videos and you might not but sometimes I will blink really hard or a lot and I don't know why but I'm pretty sure it all started when I got contacts and I think when I first got contacts I started blinking weird because my eyes were dry and then it just became a habit. So yeah, I blink weird. People used to call me Tourette's, which is freaking awful, but whatever, I don't care. And I don't think I do it very bad anymore, so oh well. I love planning and a lot of times I plan and I don't follow the plan at all, but I love to plan in my planner and use all these different stickers and just make it look beautiful. And I also love to make lists every single day in class if I get bored I will just make a list of like every second of my day what I want to do and like I said I normally don't follow it but I still love to do it and it's really therapeutic so my last fact about me is that I'm really excited to have this new YouTube and I'm super super determined to dedicate everything I have to this and just to put my whole heart into it and obviously I want subscribers I want likes you know, it'd be awesome to make money off of it, but I also just genuinely like it and I want to be able to do something that I love um, with my life. And I love watching YouTube and so far I've loved making YouTube videos. So hopefully um, you guys can see how much I love it and hopefully you guys love it as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my 50 facts about me if you made it to the end. Uh, please subscribe, please give this a thumbs up. Let me know any videos you'd like me to do. And yeah, I'll see you next time. I upload every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So check back here, subscribe to see my next video. Bye.